Mill. Hi guys, welcome to my channel New Basic Learning and today we are going to start the math section for class 10th. This is the very first chapter which I am going to start that is goods and services tax namely GST. Okay, this is from the unit of commercial mathematics and this is the first video of this chapter that is part 1 for class 10. So, the chapter name is Goods and Services Tax, that is GST. Okay, so GST, what is GST? Goods and Services Tax. The, before, in the earlier period, the, there were many taxes which were paid by the persons, uh, people. Uh, there were many taxes. So, to, uh, uh, to get a proper or a one type of tax, government uh, government reduces all these taxes many taxes were there so uh, the government reduces all the taxes and uh, give only one tax which is GST okay so GST is only one tax which is uh, which is in the series of government now so there are three types of GST which is CGST, SGST and IGST CGST means central goods and services SGST is state goods and services tax and IGST is unit territory goods and services tax. Now this tax, these two tax are both equal to each other and the, these, say, these states, sorry, these taxes are done within the state. Means if we are talking about these two taxes, then the sales means the raw materials which is being purchased by a person that is in within the state. Means in the state only, in a particular state. Okay. If a person borrows or a, uh, or he purchases a thing from a shopkeeper, then it is within the state. That means if I am uh, purchasing a thing from a shopkeeper, then I am taking that thing within the state. If I am going to, suppose I am in Bishnor and I am going to take uh, any particular uh, accessories or anything else from Delhi. So that is outside the state okay so IGST is sales with the uh, so, uh, sorry sales outside the state and if we want to calculate IGST then IGST formula is CGST plus SGST okay and what are the rates of GST the rates of GST are of 4 that is 5% 12% 18% and 28% that is 0% to 28% Okay, so now this is the book Estant ICSC Mathematics. Okay, and it is written by OP Malhotra, SK Gupta, and Anubhuti Gangal. So, this is the first chapter. Now, let's see the questions related to this chapter. So, now the first question is Mr. Abdul, the manufacturer, sells his product worth rupees 2,25,000 within the state. So, He sells his product means he sells that is finished final product he sells. Okay, so uh, he buys he buys good words good wo goods worth rupees one lakh twenty thousand within the state. So his raw material which he uh, which he buy is rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Okay, and if the rate of GST is at the rate of 12% on raw material, 12% is on raw material, GST rate is 12% on raw material and 18% of finished product, 18% of finished product, okay, GST rate, so find the amount of GST he has to pay, now we have to find the GST amount which he has to pay, so first of all we will take out input GST and output GST, input GST we will take out by 12 upon 100, Multiplied by 1,20,000 which comes to be uh, 14,400. Okay, now the output GST is finished for finished final product which is 18%. That is 2,25,000 of 18%. 18 upon 100, 2,25,000 which comes to be 40,500. Now, the amount which he has to pay or uh, GST payable by him 
now it will be uh it will be output gst minus input gst okay so our output gst was 40500 and input gst was 40400 so when we subtract these both values we get 26100 rupees so this was the gst which was payable by mr abdul a manufacturer when he sells his product which uh, the worth was 225000 and the gst rate was 18% and when he uh, when he buys the product which was raw material worth rupees 120000 of gst rate 12% so after take out in the value of gst payable by him is 26100 rupees so first question we have done now let's see the second question now the second question is Uh, a shoe manufacturer purchases good worth rupees ninety thousand from the market within the state. He sells his product in the neighborhood market for seventy eight thousand. If the common rate of GST is at the rate eighteen percent, then find the GST payable amount of GST payable or GST credit for the above transaction. So here the raw material worth rupees is given ninety thousand and finished product that is final product worth rupees is given. Seventy-eight thousand, and the common rate of GST is eighteen percent. So you can easily take out by keeping both eighteen uh, percent in both the values. That is eighteen upon hundred into ninety thousand, which gives sixteen thousand two hundred, and eighteen percent upon eighteen upon hundred into seventy-eight thousand, which comes to be fourteen thousand and rupees forty. So we have to take out GST, which is input minus output, which comes to be sixteen thousand sixteen thousand two hundred minus. Forty thousand four forty rupees gives to gives rupees two thousand one hundred and sixty. So this was this this question was related to the first question. It was very easy. For the next part, stay happy and stay tuned. If you like my video, please hit the like button, share my video, and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get more latest updates. Thank you for watching.